Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Ben. Today, we got one of the craziest transformations you guys will ever see. This is on an individual that I didn't even believe was going to be able to pull his haircut off. The ending result to this haircut was so game-changing and so life-changing. I can't wait for y'all to get to this footage. We got a crazy video on my boy, Yo, Fonz. The way me and Fonz came about, everybody on YouTube had already cut him. Jeezy cut him, Basio cut him, Matt all cut him. I was literally one of the last people left. So, with this haircut, we're going to give Fonz a whole different look. Fonz actually requested a specific haircut usually he let the YouTube barber do whatever they want to do to his hair in today's video he specifically requested a pompadour he specifically requested a pompadour he specifically requested a pompadour we were trying to create that volume in the front to give that illusion off of a more fuller hairline so without further ado I want to jump in one of the craziest 360 transformations you guys have ever seen I will be displaying a pompadour today so please leave a comment let me know what you guys think about Fon's haircut do you guys think I nailed this put that in the comment section let's get to this money do you go front with tobacco or you go back with Sephora it just depends on how you I know feel. what all right <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you try to tea, you try to make I'm beginning to wonder, will I be happy? Will I be happy? Will I be happy with the way the front hairline looks? So to kick this hair cut off, I go in with a pick and I'm just basically picking at the front of the line and I'm raising the front of the hair. I'm creating the volume because I never did this haircut before. So this is literally, uh, oh, we walking with fate right now, but, but, but this is a part of the game. This is something that we got to adjust to. Sometimes you're going to get haircuts that you're not ready for. But you gotta lock in, and that's what that's what this video is about. So I go in with a number three guard, completely open with the grain. The reason that I go in with a number three guard is because I want to get Fon's hair down to a desired length, but at the same time, start to shape the pomp early, opposed to knocking the hair down a lot and then trying to shape the pomp later. You want to create that transition. You want the pomp to to flow with the waves. That's 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 the whole part about this whole pompadour style that I wanted to create for Fon's. It wasn't just that we wanted to do a new haircut and make it wavy. We wanted to create a protective style we wanted to solve a problem that was so big about this video i hope that you guys understand that like that's the message behind this this isn't just about a nice haircut or a different or a unique haircut this video is literally about solving a problem we created volume in the front and we gonna give y'all one of the craziest looks y'all have ever seen one of the craziest endings and i honestly feel like this is this is right here this is this is this is a time piece right here this is a classic this is gonna be history right here i honestly feel like we woke the dead up with this one a number two a two that's a lot and as you guys can see Fonz thought that that number two guard was a lot but that number two guard not even enough you could take his head beyond the measures the number two for me in this video the reason that i did it honestly is because nobody else did it and also doing a number two made it easier to do the taper seeing i wouldn't have to fade into a three not saying that it's harder but it's less work Your boy Fonz be wildin'. So I'm in here with this number two guard and I'm just basically shaping the top of the pump. As you guys can see, the waves, he dipping. You can see him in the pump. I go in with the new trimmers by Babeless and I just basically set my first initial guideline. And I'm basically getting rid of all of the curls, all of the overhang. Go in with a number one guard. And I just basically go completely open right here because I know I'm going to drop the fade to my beard later. Then I go open with the one guard and I just slowly but surely start to blend out the side over here and debulk it. Because I cut them down with a two, I know for a fact that I can open up with a one eighth and I'll be safe. The new Babeless trim is hard though. Then I go in with the Babeless FX is completely closed and then I'm just nudging at my line. Then I go halfway and I just repeat the same steps. And then I'm gonna go fully open right here and complete the same steps. 
Then I go in with a 1 16th guard and I'm going to work this all the way up the same way I did with my Babeless FXs. The reason that I'm using my Andis Masters is because I can bounce around in my fade more. I can be way more loose with these. Like, these do not take as much hair as the, the gold FXs or any wall clippers. In terms of fading, it is so much easier to fade with Masters because you can be so much more loose. And Masters fade open to a 1. So as long as you know what you're doing, the fade's gonna always come out in your favor. But as you guys can see, like it's slowly but surely coming there. Like one thing I really enjoyed about Fawn's haircut is that he wouldn't tell me anything. Like he told me nothing. And I appreciate that so much because sitting there for four months, he told me as long as as I cut his hair, no matter what he got, he was gonna look better than when he came in there. And that was just dope. And that just really gave me more energy. And that 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 that, that really created that that confidence in the inside. Like I'm tripping about a haircut that I never done for what? Once I cut them clippers on, I turned into him. As you go completely open with my gold FX is starting out that first initial guideline then I drop them completely closed and then I'm gonna go halfway right here and just clean up that fade in that, in that area then I go behind that open with my masters trying to get the fade flush then I go in with a 1 16th guard completely open and I'm gonna slowly but surely debulk the taper little by little because one thing with the 1 16th guard you guys can really do a whole fade on anybody with no guard in a 1 16th guard if you angle the masters the right way like this is one of the easiest clippers to fade with I just think the pompadour style was just so hard like shout out to your fonts because he kind of alley-ooped it it wasn't just like no my idea thing fonts did alley-ooped this because it made so much sense if we created that volume in the front how we gonna be able to finesse the line and completely different like we draped fonts like that's basically what we did it wasn't a drake haircut but we draped him like he was completely light-skinned at the end of this haircut that boy was wild and i can't wait for the b-roll and i can't wait for him to just wild out for y'all But as you guys can see, I'm using the 116th guard and I got the hilt of my blade kicked up so my clippers are not digging. And I just basically debulked that area without having to use any other guard besides the 116th. Then I go in with the 1 8th guard and I'm just basically trimming the front hairline down, prepping it for the line. As you guys can see, the haircut from this angle, it already looked like it's going to be fire. And then I go in and I just blow dry the front of the pump area so I can extend it as much as possible before I shape it. And I go in and I just clean up the nape area. These trimmers is hidden. <laughs> Definitely hitters. keep everything consistent with the lining because the lining is very light the, the lining is very faint and you can't see it like that because you got to create the illusion remember like you can take your time the lining doesn't have to be a hard line but that's what the whole perception uh, uh, uh of incorporating things like color and uh and using your imagination this is where your artistry kick in as you guys can see me shaping a pump like this is this is this is artistry right here this is where you create the sauce this is the flavor this is the flood this is this is the pop about the haircut this is what brings it all the way together for you guys as you guys can see it's there. We go in with the Beam Team Coilless Compressor XL using the no drip. Remember, it's staying the skin. So this is amazing for people that's actually light or that's thinning in the front. That's what this color is for and it's waterproof. So many pluses. And 
then I just go in with hair fibers because I kind of want to double it up. Fibers you can actually build on top of the color. So if you assist it with that, it give it more of a fuller look, especially for the pump. That's the whole perception behind finessing you got to make the situation better than what it is and that's what we really enjoyed about doing with Fon's haircut same way we go in with color on the beard framing it out and with framing the beard out in this aspect it make it 10 times easier to line so you got people out there who align the beard and then they go back behind it with the color and then reline the beard like it took you three or four times to do or to go over a beer before you achieve the look that you wanted when you can frame it out here and then hit the beer once and be done. There's so many different techniques out there that you can use to eliminate different steps so your, your, your time efficiency goes up. Like It's all about making the complex things simple. You gotta find a way to make it work for you. Like This way might not work for everybody. But that way works for me. And then right here I go in with my girl Donnie M. Beer Oil. And then we just go in with the hot pick comb. And we just extend it all the way out there. The beer oil link will be in the description. And then I go in and I just shape the beard. One thing with Fon's beard, man. His wife tried to get rid of it. And that was just crazy to me. I had to beg on the live for him to keep his beard. So he was like, in order to keep it, I had to go real slender uh, around the jawline area and then keep it real masculine in the chin area. So as you guys can see, we giving Fonz a whole different look to this beard. We saucing them, we turning them into, we turning them into somebody else. We turning him into somebody else. And that's what transformations like this is about. That's what I'm built for. This is my this is my realm. This is what I like to do. And right now we just gonna add flair on it. I'm so turned watching this video because we didn't created something that's so crazy. Everything is only framed out right now. We ain't even put a razor on nothing and we look like we there already. This is a problem. This is what I mean. This is why I can appreciate Fonz for giving me the blessing to do what I do to rock out how I want to like this is amazing to me I'm in my realm I'm in my world and they came to my city this is my house ain't no way I'm dropping no ball not in my crib and as you guys can see I'm just turned like this me like this is the flavor this is the flair that I told y'all we was gonna do the, the, the whole point about Fon's haircut was to create that volume to create that that, that cleaner lining and that more saucy lining look but at the same time you gotta add flair to everything you do you gotta add sauce to it if you don't add no sauce to it it's the same thing it is the same thing and my objective with this video besides creating a volume in the front was giving Fonz the best haircut he's ever received on YouTube and honestly that's what I feel like I did. Like I feel like what I performed today and what I'm performing right before y'all eyes is the greatest thing that ever been on Fonz in front of YouTube. I felt like I destroyed the concept of a transformation on this. We beyond, we, we over exceeded. This is two, I did two waivers in one day, four months each. Skits, setups, teardowns cleanups like full haircuts lives i had to beg somebody wife to keep their beard you think i'm not in my bag <sighs> bars we in that bag shout out to Fonz, man i got that boy I see hashtag glass in the comment section. Y'all know what time it is. Glacier gang, y'all know what happens. When we in this bag, we in this realm, we can't be stopped. Ain't nobody standing in front of us right now. This is what we do. This is my heart in the game for y'all. Y'all get to see everything that I've ever worked for in my life. Every shot that I've ever put up. Y'all get to see all of that before y'all eyes right here. I dropped two of them. And both of them were 30s. Three O's, no debates. Shout out to Yo Fonz. Shout out to Jeezy. I love that y'all were able to push my level of creativity to another level. I'm glad that y'all were able to to come from opposite sides of the world and meet up with me in Chicago and, and and we make it happen like this. 
this is beyond big like shout out to everybody man i appreciate it and 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 and, and if anything shout out to the supporters everybody that's truly watching we appreciate y'all so much this just dropping two in a day only only was for y'all we only wanted to give y'all everything this footage is for y'all will i be happy with the way the front hairline looks Blue face, baby. Yeah. I cut at noon. This is not Velocity Cut, although it looks like it. I am not at home. I'm in Chicago with Gib Beams and Fawns. We are not at Velocity Cuts. I repeat, we are not Velocity Cuts, even though it looks like it. Fawns. But we looking good, boy! We, we looking, looking good! Great. Yo, you look good! Oh, you're, you're being real aggressive Yo, right now. Yo, look good! You're being real aggressive Yo, right now. Yo, look good! I understand this. Yo, look I, I good! I understand <laughs> Fonz, you're looking good. Yo, the beam, 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 beam. Hey, can, 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 yeah. can, 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 but to everybody that's out there that's watching or had a chance to watch this journey and what's went on, this is what happens when you don't plan anything. It is five in the morning. We are all tired, but we got two of the crispiest individuals right here. I told y'all, I promised I was gonna deliver. I didn't even think about this haircut. Y'all don't know how much this haircut hold weight in my arsenal. And these two individuals, the creative content, both of them being on Mount Rushmore and, and their community. <laughs> it kills me with that. <laughs> How don't y'all think y'all on Mount Rushmore? No, no, hey. Y'all appealing to your know. community. You know, it's still fresh to me. Man, you appeal in your community. Yeah. You appeal in your community, regardless of whatever you say. Two of the funnest individuals to work with. I don't care how long this took. I'll redo this tomorrow if I could. With that being said, this was my blessing to the game. Y'all got a little flavor from me, from one of the goats and one of the upcoming goats. Other than that, the goat himself will get out of here. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Gibby. That, that was more one of those. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. And we out. I had to.